Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll be addressing the question, does our penitence need to be based on our love of God? Those who've watched Indiana Jones are probably familiar with the term penitent, but may not 100% know what it means. Penitence is the quality of regretting wrongdoing. It implies that you recognize that you've done at least some things that are wrong, and that you're sorry for having done those things for some reason. In the Catholic Church, we also use the word contrition to describe this quality. Furthermore, in the Catholic Church, there are two different types of contrition described in the Catechism. When it arises from a love by which God is loved above all else, contrition is called perfect, contrition of charity. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1452, first sentence. The contrition called imperfect, or attrition, is also a gift of God, a prompting of the Holy Spirit. It is born of the consideration of sin's ugliness, or the fear of eternal damnation, and the other penalties threatening the sinner, contrition of fear. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1453, first two sentences. So the question would be, does our contrition need to be perfect contrition, or is imperfect contrition enough? Well, throughout its history, the Church has held a number of doctrinal councils intended to resolve heresies or errors that were taking place in the Church. The texts of those councils still exist for the most part, and can be referred to today as part of the Church's tradition. One of those councils was the Council of Trent, and in that council, one can find... But if any one saith that the contrition, which is acquired by means of the examination, collection, and detestation of sins, whereby one thinks over his years and the bitterness of his soul by pondering on the grievousness, the multitude, the filthiness of his sins, the loss of eternal blessedness, and the eternal damnation which he has incurred, have therewith the purpose of a better life, is not a true and profitable sorrow, does not prepare for grace, but makes a man a hypocrite and a greater sinner, in fine, that this contrition is a forced and not free and voluntary sorrow. Let him be anathema. The Council of Trent, Canon 5 on the Sacrament of Penance. In short, the Church condemned the views of anyone who claimed that imperfect contrition wasn't profitable or voluntary, which means that imperfect contrition is enough to motivate a person to participate in confession, which in turn is enough to absolve their sins. In short, when going to confession, even imperfect contrition is enough to fully reunite you with God, and therefore you don't need perfect contrition in order to enter heaven. However, there is one thing that those of us who rely on imperfect contrition do need to watch out for. By itself, however, imperfect contrition cannot obtain the forgiveness of grave sins, but it disposes one to obtain forgiveness in the sacrament of penance, Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1453, last sentence. In short, we need the sacrament of confession in order to be purified of our sins. Just wanting to obtain it isn't enough if our contrition is imperfect. So it's important to do our very best to avoid serious sins entirely. Next, are my goals compatible with God's goals? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.